Okay, so one of the very first things that I think you should do if you are trading Enigma morning or afternoon, uh, of course, I already told you, you know, time of day I think is important. Um, and let's go ahead and put that in first. Okay, so time of day, we'll call it the Todd. Okay, 9 to, let's just call it for easy sake, PM, PST. Okay, two, first thing you should do is identify the nearest ACC. What is that? That's our accumulation zone. We'll call it the AZ for now. Uh, but usually you'll hear me refer to that in our videos as ACDC. So ACDC, this is the way that the markets move. Accumulation zones and then distribution. We want to go accumulate, we want to distribute. We want to ride the distribution leg. The distribution leg is, those are those big legs that we call impulse legs. Oftentimes traders react after an impulse leg. We, we do also, we take those into account, but we are anticipating when those are going to show up. Uh, yes, we won't see any enigmas on RTY, YMES. Not set to days. Um, that's not necessarily true. It depends on the number of bars of data. But yes, in general, Alex uh, had just put it. it put that uh, had just put a uh, a good uh, good thought in there on some of the days to data to load. We'll, to load. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. Um, so identify the nearest accumulation zone, and you'll see why we want to do that to begin with. And we want to draw a box. on the AZ, okay, real simple. And then from there, I do think that you should pair the Enigma. Some of the good pairings with this, I like to pair with the DCDM and the AOs. Okay, now if you go through our training program, we do an and sign here. Uh, you guys have seen me in my live streams pairing these for the last few months. We did this since uh, November. We did uh, November, December, and January here been out there uh, nearly every single day uh, live streaming that so you guys can go and peek at that as well. We're going to pair those with DCDMs and you're going to see why we want to do that here in a moment. Okay. So there are um, inside AZ versus outside AZ plays. Okay. Take a quick screenshot right here. This is what you're going to be doing if you're going to be using the Enigma system. Again, we'll be focused on that here tonight. We will talk about some of the other items as well. And we're going to do next week a very specific training around the Alpha Omegas. Now, speaking of Alpha Omegas, you guys need to be following a guy named Mike Schwartz. I'll type out his name here in just a moment. But he is out there on Discord as well. He does a fantastic job, probably better than me in the way that he speaks and teaches about things. Um, he also... He Video editing, and <laughs> I cannot. So, um, Mike, type it properly. Mike Schwartz on YouTube. This is he's done the Alpha Omega uh, trainings already. Some really cool strategies around it. There are multiple strategies that you can do around using those Alpha Omegas in various settings. It is a more complex set of strategies around that, which is why I want to do an entire video around it. There's multiple strategies that you can use on those, but make sure you guys are following him already. Go take a, take a pause on the video right now. Follow that guy. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you've learned.